All right, hello friends, welcome. Today I am Peter Draws, and we're going to look at this glass pen. Yes, this little guy right here. As you can see, it more or less looks like a standard glass pen, something I was more or less surprised to find out because uh, the company who makes this, which is a Chinese company called Yummy Bun, um, reached out to me on Instagram and sent me a long Instagram message about how this pen is better than every other, at least better than every other glass pen in almost every way imaginable. Uh, they said it's a heavy professional glass pen. Um, it draws crisp lines. Uh, they said it doesn't break as easily. They say the, the ink in it somehow lasts longer. I don't know, are these grooves deeper or something? Regardless, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. We're gonna look at this pen, find out what's up. And uh, the, the point is, I don't like being lied to about consumer products as much as the next, next guy. And this pen is $25 on Amazon, when you can get pens that, to me, look exactly like it. The key is look exactly like it for like $12 to $15 on Amazon, right? So what we need to do is use it and see if there is something about the way it functions that justifies the extra $10, right? Ah, ah, ah. I will say, I will say they did send me a packet of heart-shaped stickers along with the pen. So, I mean, Hmm. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see here, I've got this pen. Basically the only thing that's different about this pen from all the other glass pens I've had is that there's a slightly different swirl in the grooves here in the nib. That's a little different. Of course, the glass itself is a different color, but I don't think that's that consequential. The glass can be any color you want, really. And then there's this nodule here on the end, which I don't know, does that do something to strengthen it? It might, it looks like it was just added on there after the fact, but I don't know. I'll show you all my other pens really quick. So you can see there is a pretty wide variety. So here's all my other glass pens. I think I have eight here, if my cal calculations are correct. When you add this one in, like I said, it's not that much different, right? So some of, there's a wide variety here as far as which ones are maybe uh, mass produced, you know, for just 10 or, you know, cheaper than this one, mass produced on Amazon, or much more expensive as far as, you know, like a nice hand-blown, glass-blown one on, uh, you know, like Etsy from like a professional glass blower or something, right? So there's there are options out there for you. Just like regular pens, you can spend a little or it can spend a lot, but what it really comes down to uh, is, does it draw lines on paper? So let's find out. I used to have uh, more pens, but I've I've only broken three glass pens by two by dropping, one by pressing too hard, and then the nib just sh shattered off. All right, so here I'm going to use some black noodler's ink. Dip. Oh, I dip pretty deep, but that's okay. Test. Oh. Hello, I am using a glass pen. So it works pretty good, it seems like. And uh, the person who sent me that, who sent me this, and sent me the long Instagram message with all the things that were amazing about it, specifically stated that it did not um, have a sharp point that would scratch the surface of the paper and it definitely does, okay? But that's not a bad thing. That's one of the things I like about glass pens. Like, um, the, the most similar sensation I can relate it to is maybe like a, like a dip pen with a metal nib. I like it. Can you hear it? It's kind of satisfying, actually. Oh, someone left a comment on a previous video asking or saying that they had, for some reason, expected me to write Orangutan. I can't, oh, I can't spell, wait. Or, rang, 
stupid tan. There you go. Oh. Oran. It's like orange, but then Utan, right? Anyways, the true test is to see whether or not we can draw a picture with it. Um, of course, at least that's how my pen reviews usually go. So let's hop to it. So I'll tell you right now, the pen works great. All right. It's extremely functional. It's uh, fantastic at drawing lines. Okay. I was very easily able to draw a picture with it. The pen uh, did not get in the way uh, of the art at all. And I've reviewed a lot of pens uh, way worse than this one that have given me a lot more problems than this one where I've had to constantly uh, struggle and uh, wrestle with the pen trying to get it to do what I want and I didn't enjoy the process of drawing because I had to you know, struggle with the pen. This pen gave me no problems. But I am a little bit annoyed uh, because this pen was presented to me as a pen that was, you know, an arm and a leg and a nib better than all the other glass pens out there. And it's just not. It's just on the same level as all the other glass pens out there as far as how well it draws lines and is usable and all these other um, factors that you might use to measure a pen besides um, the fact that I haven't tested, I haven't tried breaking it. That one thing aside, granted it might be slightly more unbreakable, but I think it is also still the same borosilicate glass that all the other pens are made out of. But look, this person reached out to me and said, Peter, we see you do a lot of pen reviews. Will you review our pen if we send it to you? I'm like, yes. And I, I went out of my way to tell them. I said, there's two ways you can do this. You can either send the pen to me and I will do a video review for you for free besides the cost of the like the pen sample, like the review sample for me to review. And I will give you my honest review of the pen, right? I'll tell you what I think about it and feel about it. Or you can send me the pen and a little money on top and I'll just do a regular pen. I'll, I'll, I'll advertise your pen for you. Right? Like, I'll just try to sell it, regardless of whether I like it or not. Of course, I'll have to disclose this to my viewers. Um, obviously, I haven't done that very often. People don't usually opt to do the paid option. Because, I mean, I guess it's a gamble on their part, whether or not I'll like it or not. I mean, I'm still going to put the you know an, a link in the description for you to buy it if you want to. It's a good pen. I just don't like why I try to... Why hit me up with all the marketing mumbled mumbo jumbo about how this pen is way better than all the other pens when I'm the one that's going to sit there and figure it out if it is or not and then tell my viewers, you know, that just bothers me a little is all. Okay. All right. Rant over. Look, here's the bottom line. The pen is decent. It's good. It works well. It's just slightly overpriced. And they sent me messages that seemed a little bit. Um, like, I don't want to say, I mean, I guess I already said the, the L word, but it's, it seemed like they were lying to me about the properties of the pen, which put a bad taste in my mouth, right? Anyways, anyways, I want to talk about the drawing. I posted this on Instagram. Once you see the finished, once you see the finished version of it, you can tell me what you think it looks like. In the Instagram caption, I said, lacking some info on this specimen. If any of you know anything about it, please let me know so we can add it to the data banks. There were some incredible replies, some very helpful people, some very knowledgeable people. I was very surprised and pleased. People know a lot of things about um, these reclusive specimens. Um, Andre is the best said, I've seen this before, but only briefly. I was camping and had taken up shelter for the night. I had packed up some cans of tuna for me to eat. As I opened up the first can of tuna, that thing leaped out and made a screeching sound that pe pierced my ears. As soon as it jumped out the can, it was gone and vanished into the night. Honey Like Jam says, I could never remember what they were called, but I remember when old Granny would cook them up on a hot summer day. 
What was peculiar was that when cooked, they became colder. Ah, memories. Scott Air Balloon says, I've seen them break apart into tiny worm-like pieces when cut up, and have watched as they inch towards something in one singular direction, but didn't let them crawl far enough to find out what they were slinking to. Leo the Blue Jay says the secretions have medicinal properties, but has yet to be regulated by the FDA. 30G Bloom Cool says, that's my grandpa. Crafty Mia says, is that a slithy tove larvae? Larva? Larvae? How do I pronounce that? Or am I cleverly mistaken? Blush Box Draws says, that specimen greatly enjoys onions. That's all I know. Mog Olaf Mini Minerva wants to know if that's what I brought back from Area 51. Did I miss the Area 51 raid? Has it happened already? I was going to go do an interpretive drawing. You know how they have artists in courtrooms doing drawings of what's going on? Just like people's expressions as the verdict gets handed down to them and stuff. I wanted to do a drawing of the, the people, the people's raid on Area 51. Ben's Art and Stuff says, if my examination is correct, it is a congealed tubular mass of gelatinous agents. Hmm. So there's a lot of, a lot of really good information here. I'm going to compile it all and uh, we'll figure it all out. I know more than I did before. That's the most important thing and that I'm thankful for. Um, if you guys have any more information on what this could be, uh, please let me know in the comments. I can't wait to find out. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, yeah, check out this pen if you want. No, it's a good pen, okay? You, you shouldn't feel bad about this pen for the same reason I feel bad about this pen because you, you personally, you know, weren't lied to about it like I was. You know, it's like, you know how that marketing mumbo jumbo happens. Do you ever feel offended by that? Like the false advertising? That's what it is. Should I not feel personally offended by false advertising? They're just trying to promote their pen. Like maybe I shouldn't take it so personally, but I do. I'm like, why not just say it's a good pen? Why not? Why say all this other stuff about it that obviously isn't true? I don't know. I don't know this. I'm surprised people still send me pens, you know? It's like if they had actually watched any of my pen review videos, they they would say I half the time I don't like the pen. Anyways. All right. Anyways. I'm going off. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Goodbye.